السلام عليكم uh, welcome today uh, today our lesson is uh, our book today is super goal for uh, we will take unit 5 lesson 2 grammar we will discuss page 42 46 47 and later okay we will discuss 48 our object today talk about the weather listen for specific information from the weather report or from a, a weather report making future plans using well talk about future activities this is our this is our book today okay so our lesson today is talking about future with well future with well okay look at number one we use well to talk about what do you think We use well to talk about something that think will or will not happen. We will talk about or we use will to talk about something will happen in the future. In the future or will not happen. Okay, look at affirmative sentence. Affirmative means not negative. Like what? I will, I will, you will, he will. will she will travel a or we will travel okay if it is negative i will not travel she will not travel okay this is will not if we want a short answers we can use yes or no questions like will you travel next week or next summer Yes, I will or no, I will not if it is negative. I want more information. I want more information. So I have to talk about what or use what? WH questions like what will you do? What will you do in the summer? I will probably travel. Okay. Will you go? Will, where will you go? I will go to Jordan. How will you go? Uh, I will maybe, uh, I will drive there. Okay? And be careful that we often use will with properly or maybe to express doubt or uncertainly. Okay? It is not certainly. We are not sure, so we use properly or may be. Okay, and for your information, look at this. We use wouldn't, means will not, will not. Okay, look at the exercise now. I want you to look at the pictures, okay? And uh, look at the samples of the weather, okay? What do you think, this is what? Look at the uh, temperature, it is hot, okay? This is what? Rainy, very good, okay? What do you think? Maybe snow? Look at this, this is partly cloudy. So, I want you now to look at Riyadh and tell me what will the weather like or what will the weather be like in Riyadh tomorrow? In Riyadh tomorrow. It will be, look at Riyadh, what do you think? For tomorrow Riyadh, what do you think? Do you think it will be? The temperature is 17. Do you think the temperature will, uh, the weather will be uh, cold or warm? Yes, very good. Okay, so it will be warm in Riyadh. The temperature will be 17 degree. Okay? Look at, for example, Abu Dhabi. Look at the picture. What do you think? The degree is 21. So it is what? Yes, very good. It is hot and sunny. It is hot and sunny. Very, very good. Okay. I want to now to look. Okay. I want to now to look at.
Okay, I want to now to look at our, uh, just a moment, our writing today. I want to now to look to our writing today. Okay, look at the picture now. Okay, uh, look at the bears of synonyms here. Look at the bears of synonyms here. Which adjective describe mood? What's the meaning of mood? Mood, if we are on talking about mood, means if you are tired, if you are happy, so this is mood, okay? And tell me which adjective describe the weather? Describe the weather, okay? Look at number one, sleep tired. This is for what? It's very good, for mood, okay? Look at the second one. For example, cold, freezing. This is describe weather describe weather very good so the top row okay is related to mood the bottom is related to the weather i want to now to write okay to write or uh, choose the suitable one look at number one please turn up the heat it is what do you think it is what do you think can we use tired in here? Or it is cold in here? What do you think? It's very good. We use cold. Cold. Okay, look at number two. Fahad went to bed late. Went to bed late last night. So he feels what? Do you think he feels uh, happy? Or sleep. It's very good. He feel sleep. Very good. He feel sleep. Because nurse was not interested in the conversation, she felt, she felt what? What do you think? If she is not interested, so she is what? Happy? Do you think it's happy or bored? Yes, very good. She bored. It's very good. She is bored. Understand? Okay. So, okay. Now look at, uh, look at this writing. Okay. Use if or when to refer to repeated situation. What's the meaning of repeated? Something repeat. Okay. For example, when it rains, I usually what? Go out? No, I usually stay indoors. So this is repeated. When, when, uh, sorry, use when to refer to future situation. What's make a future? Not happen now, future. That are certain, I will call you when I get home. Use if to refer to future situation that are possible. What do you mean possible? Means it can be happen, but not certain, okay? Not certain, we are not sure. I use what? For example, if I get home early, what happened? I will call you. I will call you. I want you to take two minutes to uh, write a note and tell me if the weather, okay? is um, warm and sunny. What happened? Tell me. If the weather if the weather is warm and sunny. What happened? I what? Well, warm and sunny. I what? I will go to Okay, I will go to the park, for example. Okay, sorry, I will go to the, go to, go to the park. Okay, look at number two. If the weather is cloudy and rainy, what happened? What happened? Okay, I will go, for example, I will go to the, 
moles. I will go to the moles. It is the same if the weather is warm and sunny, okay? Or when the weather, when the weather is warm and sunny, I will go to the park. I will go to the park. But usually we use if with something rainy, with something rainy because we are not sure, because we are not sure, okay? Now, I want to know to read about conditional sentence with present and future forms. Okay, you can use conditional sentence with if to talk about what? About cause and result. Okay, cause and result. Look at number one. If it is sunny outside, I will wear sunny glasses. Here I am talking about future or present. Very good. I am talking here about present. Present. Okay? We are talking here about present using F. Okay? Water becomes ice if you put it in the freeze or uh, sorry, in the freezer, in the freezer. So here we use if to talk about, to talk about present, to talk about present. Okay, look at number two. If the, uh, excuse me, if their team wins, if their team wins, when they play, what happened? If they wins, the fans will be happy. The fans will be happy here we have two clause this is first clause the if clause and this is the second clause okay or the result clause so if the first clause happened what will happen the second clause will happen okay if their team wins the fans will be will be so here i use if Plus, okay. Okay. I will use if clause plus will. Plus will. Okay. Plus will. For example, will they play tennis? If it rains, we don't know if it rains, but if they uh if tra if uh they um will they play tennis if it rains if it rains okay look at using look at using may and might may and might okay look at number one we use may and might in the result clause in the result clause this is the result clause we use it may and might to suggest okay something is possible what's mean if possible means it may happen but not certain it is not sure it is not sure for example if nora doesn't study what happened if nora doesn't have it doesn't study okay this is if clause okay this is if clause what happened later she what she might fall okay and the she might fall the test okay look at number two we might go we might go skiing if there is enough snow there is enough snow and be careful to use the comma be careful to use the comma between the if clause and the result clause okay so we use if with a uh, may if we are not sure if we are not sure okay and if the 
if Nora doesn't study, if the if clause happened, okay, the result will happen. Okay, look at the exercise. I want you to read the exercise. Complete the sentence with the verb, okay, use simple present or well. Use simple present or well. If you heat water to 100 degree, okay, sailors, okay, it pull. So what do you think? It what? What do you think? Yes, very good. If you, if you heat water, it will, very good, pull. Very good. Okay. Look at, for example, uh, number three. If you go to the university, if you go to university, what you study? What you study? If you, very good, if you go, we use go, present. Okay. What will you study? What will you study? Very good. Okay. Complete the sentence. This is the last. Complete the sentence with the present future forms. Okay. On the conditional. Say how the weather makes you feel. For example, if the sky is dark, if the sky is dark, okay, and cloudy, what do you think? For example, for me, I feel what? I feel, okay, I, for example, I feel, okay, I feel tired i feel tired okay uh thank you for your watching this is the last of our lesson today okay i hope you enjoy our lesson thank you